Well, now that I finally have the view corrected. Hello, everybody. I'm back, and I thought I'd start off with a few little updates of what was going on around here. The other stream ended rather dramatically and suddenly when we were working on the uh, spider spawner. But I've been mining, I've gotten some good stuff. I was able to make some good enchantments. And the best news currently is that BD has managed to find us a mending villager. Woohoo! That's good stuff. So we're going to go look at that in a moment. But I thought first, what we'd do is go ahead and show you what happened with the spider spawner that we had discovered. Um, let me get back up over here, just past that little spot where I've got some chests laid out. We have an entrance set up where he carved a whole bunch of stairs down to the spawner area. We'll look at that and see, show you how to do. That was quite fiddly. Oh, and by the way, besides looking at like a complete derp, uh, yeah, that's happened. 24 different deaths. Those little green boogers are not entertaining. So let me go ahead and get down here and I'll show you what we've done with it. Remember, he had discovered a spawner. And while we were starting to work on hollowing that one out, he discovered a second spawner and it was in range. So what we did is we've got the one spawner here to the left, the original, and you can see it's close enough to be activated. Then this water spout here on the, that you can see in the down in there, that comes from the very corner of the room for the second spider spawner. So what we decided is to try to get them to route together so we can kill them all in one single area. We had tried running that water spout in, running this water channel over kind of behind the wall and up to the killing zone. And there was all kinds of little problems and it didn't want to work and you can still see even with modification, a few of them get a little stuck now and again, either on that half slab or this half slab. But once they start jump, stop jumping, they'll usually get pushed right down the water stream. And then they come around this corner, and then right under that slab, there's a new water source that pushes them forward to a little uh, bubble leader with the soul sand. So they get popped up in the middle of the water stream for the other spiders. So all of them wind up coming here. Then the other thing was we've got the chest set up. And we were getting a lot of XP caught in the hoppers. So I put the uh, carpets on here. And that actually works pretty well because once there's a pretty good supply of them in there and you're killing away, the XP won't always jump the hopper uh, or the carpet on top of the hopper. So therefore, if you stand here, we have a whole set of stairs that are turned sideways. You can see right there. As long as you wait for it, the XP will come flowing out. And with a little experimentation, we found out that these three blocks are the sweet spot. This is the furthest you can be to keep that one activated. And of course, this one's activated and vice versa. This one is well within range of that and is the last block to keep that one activated. So if you stand here for all three of them, or and if all three of them, stand here in any of these three blocks, that will be more than enough to keep it active, and these spiders will come up. All you have to do is wait for the XP to come through. It doesn't really take very long to build up quite a lot of them. So that's just basically a quick demonstration. As you can see, we can get XP fairly quickly and fairly easily now. And that's how I was able to get these little items enchanted up. Um, I don't have a Silk Touch diamond pick because uh, I basically ran out of diamonds. I went mining and it wasn't that successful. It was good, but I only got like 10 diamonds. So it was just enough to make these tools enchant them up over here. This sword was given to me, but I was able to enchant it as well with all these abilities. The other thing he's got done is set up an enchantment set up down here in the spider spawner. So we've got some of the lapis sit here, books for changing the table, any leftover enchantment pieces, an ender chest, and we've got a little brewing stand. We kind of got it set up mostly so that we can set up uh, potions of harming and throw them on the spiders to weaken them out. So when you get quite a collection of them, you can just turn around and hit them with a potion. And then when they're going, 
the weaken them up. So you can come by and just take a quick shot and get rid of them it fairly quickly. For some reason, this end piece is difficult to get them all in a swipe, so I might shorten that by a block so they have to move over to here, outside, out a little bit more. But in and amongst all the deaths, yeah, that's me. I was standing too close while we were being attacked in one foray of spider fury, and BD took my head off. So that confirms that the uh, player head data pack is fully functional. Because there's the proof. But meanwhile, back at the gym, back at the outhouse, things are piling up. So we'll just get rid of these. Let me collect up whatever XP. It always takes a moment for it to like collect up and then slip through those little sideways stairs. But that's the big thing about the spider spawner. Good little storage and Floop came in and did some nice little touches, giving a bit of a decoration, a little flower, and we decided to put a bed down here in case you were solo and wanting to head up, and it was the middle of the night. Oh, hello, Floop. Now let's get up here. <clears throat> Loop has made dramatic progress on his base. On those, I haven't even started my base yet. But BD's been working at trying to gain some efficiency out of that village breeder over there. And he keeps having to rework it because it's not doing what it's supposed to. So what he also did was move those and they created a water trench that runs on the ground over here and takes those <coughs> took his first load of villagers over here to this location. And now he's also used it to set up a secondary breeding facility. So we can do that. And here they come. Whoa! They're... Get in there! What the heck? They're trying to pop out the top. That'll help. Wow. I guess there's a few too many in there, you think? I will remember not to do that again. I'll have to check with him. There's one poor stray fellow. Let's see if villager heads are collectible. And he's trying to get back up there to the village. Eh, maybe we'll let him go. I don't know. Let's see if we can chase him down. Well, no villager head. Oh well. He's got another position set up there. And then I did find out how he accesses the other spawner. It's actually the same hallway where he has his uh, access to his mine. And there is a purpose. There is a grand plan for those purple sheep. So those are not just random. He's bred them up on purpose. He has been around and found some acacias. So he's got that. He's been using that for the what I've discovered is a museum. Duh. Community build, yeah, but museum. We're going to put some of the best stuff. Ooh, kitty cats. He has kitty cats. I like kitty cats. Hello. drop down here. I remember showing you the cow cooker, which is pretty good. Works quite well. And then just down the road here, road, yeah. down the steps, as the villager breeder set up. So they come through here, simply run a minecart up to here because the water pushes them in the corner. You can pick them up, grade them, and then send them to this water chute all the way to the other side where that box was that they just exploded out of. But he's also got this fellow. Which he's got it channeling. Nice. He's got unbreaking tube. Not bad. Can always use some extra unbreaking books on things. And 
tags. And I must have skipped right over it. Yep, I'm breaking to 19, and that's the gem right there. We can get some mending stuff. Because I have one or two picks that are worthwhile. Efficiency 4, not so great. But I have Unbreaking 3, Efficiency, Fortune 3. Definitely would like to put a little fortune, uh, mending on top of that bad boy. That'll last me a good long time. I might buy one to put it on this because it's the only silk touch I've got. But I've got to decide that. So we'll see. But that's how he accesses that. This is the drop chute directly underneath that tower that's built upstairs. And like I said, from here, it also sank down to mine, which is giving him pretty good luck because he's been able to get himself full go fully golden, blah, 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 fully diamond outfitted. But while we're updating, let's go grab a boat. Let's run over. I'll show you Floop's place. He has gone a little nuts. Well, nuts is an unfair statement. He's gone big. He ain't going home. So, we'll just row, row, row your boat gently across the water. While I've been working on these, the other thing I did was I've taken a look around the map, and I've gotten reoriented that the peninsula where the breeder is is the southern tip of the peninsula, and just out three, four hundred blocks, there's a couple of smallish islands moderately sized. They've got grass blocks and stuff, but they're near an ocean monument. So maybe that'll be a project we'll have to take on later this year. Oop, two pig boats. Now he's got dueling piggies. But as you can easily tell, he's reworked the arches. Looking real good. Got some more on the inside. Look at that. Got him an upper floor. And a third floor and an observation tower. Oop. Sorry. Get this going in here. And he's done a lot more decorating around here, too. Look at how nice this looks. Man. I am such a piker by comparison. A little stairwell set up right up to the master bedroom. And there's your other proof the player head thing works. Or loop on a stand, in a pole, in his head. So let's go look at this real quick. He's also said he was going to make uh, probably bubble vaders to get up to these narrower floors instead of putting in stairs. And he's gotten all the way to the top. And he mentioned something I didn't notice. Ooh, look at the gardening. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have him come over and decorate my box whenever I build my box. He had commented there was this dual purpose for this long bridge and why he roofed it. You can use that as a runway once we can get to the end and start collecting elytras. That'll be very good. And he's also got this little, it was actually two little islands that he's bridged to create one compound, which is pretty sweet. Of course, he's got the farm underneath, little sugar canes. He's down there. Nice. Like it style. Go big. Not going to go home, I bet you. Let's see if we can get down here so I can get back over towards the mainland. Yeah, personal portal, of course. And BD had mentioned he had selected a location and set up a portal. Maybe I'll go look at that later so I can figure out where it goes. Ah, regular old cod. No big deal. Okay, why can I not eat food in a boat? Seems odd. Hmm. Strange, but true. Run over here. Yeah, there'll be some kitty breeding going on, I can guarantee you that. Since there's nobody close, I'll go ahead and dive in. 
Mm. Eh, just nothing like a good slap in the head to wake you up in the morning. The other thing is I've started clearing a lot of the trees around this area. That's something I'll have to work on significantly to get that done. But I also need to start working on getting me a spot to work. Let's see here. There we go. I'm not sure what is this one. Soon to be ready. Your redstone shop. Yeah, he had talked about that. One of the other things I'm going to need to work on today. Whoop, it's easier to go this way, I'll betcha. But just across this little waterway near the museum and Beatty's home shack. You can see that little glass apparatus over there. That's where I'm headed. We'd only ever had one chicken and we just couldn't find any roaming around, so I finally was on a trek and I spotted some. So I put some in here to give us eggs so we can start an auto cooker. Ain't it looking good? We got lots of eggs. Should be no sweat to check to build an automatic chicken cooker which I'm going to put over here in the main area, probably not far from the redstone shop or maybe right next to the smelter. And since we've got access to the Mesa and we have the universal dying data pack loaded, I can get some uh, blocks from there and a couple of glass and get some sand to use in the smelter. I'm thinking maybe the chicken cooker could go right here. It's not very big. It's a design I know of. I'll have to get correct guy's name so I can give him credit or maybe I'll put a sign on it to uh, acknowledge uh, who the designer was but it's pretty simple I used to use Exumavoid's taller cook cooker setup but it seems that if you leave them with the chickens growing up they will when they touch the lava they tend to get pulled up into the lava and from there it's the, there are things their bits get burned before they get the chance to drop them. So it's not as efficient as it used to be, and I'm not sure why. There's probably some change in the behavior of lava or things in lava. But I've also been running around here. Now, that one's not my fault, as you can tell from the flowers. Magic flowers. We have magic flowers, magic poppies, magic trees. These are all floating. I'll get to those later going to do is go ahead and go over here and just to, to remind you and show you where I'm at. I'm going to have to put up a little shack over here somewhere. That was, I think this was like where BD spent his very first night when he was on the server, left behind the table and the cooker. But just through these trees over here, can't quite see it at an angle there, is the entrance right there to the spawner. And I'm just down over here. Just past this water puddle, which will probably get put over. But I need to erect a nice house. Well, a nice house. A shed. Some place to put the bed, some place to put storage. Because I did manage to get some ink sacks and some bed uh, wool material. And I've been taking down trees here since the last episode showed up. So we're getting lots of wood. Maybe I'll open up a little wood shop. Try to get that going. But I've also got what I need. I've got the redstone comparator. I made a trip into the nether so that I can just get some nether quartz. So now I've got at least one comparator, which I need. And I can make some more um, repeaters. A couple of bits of redstone. But I definitely need a hopper, which I've got just enough iron ingots for. And a couple of blocks left over for me. I think I need three hoppers, a chest, and of course the chickens. A uh, bucket of lava, which I believe there's a bucket of lava we saved. Yeah, I think it's still down in the spider spawner chests. But, anyway, we'll just get to work on some of these and see what's going on. But, other than that, we'll be back, hopefully, with a big, decent amount of progress here fairly shortly. And I'll let you know how it goes. Take it easy.
pick in mind. I, I swear to you, I've come back here and the dispenser is gone. Are you having me on, bro? <laughs> Stinker. <laughs> <laughs> well, good one. I took, I took it the first time. Oh, I did you? <laughs> because I was looking at me. I know I made it, and then put it back. So very good. You got me twice with the same joke. shenanigans perpetrated by you know who you saw him we have a working and operational chicken cooker so we are ready to get people fed this has been running for a while now so we've got a good amount of chicken and feathers coming through the last detail I had to put in was this when it's off think of it like an oven the light is off though you cannot cook anything it just passes and collects eggs for us with that on when it does spit out eggs it will cook the adult chickens so we'll be ready to go so there you go that's what we got accomplished for today and also next episode we've got some exciting news about the server itself you'll want to come back and check out the, our page at www.lifecraftmc.com. Now, if you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you think I've earned it, go ahead and hit the subscribe. But hopefully, I'll see you again next time. All right. Bye now.